Hey there, it's Liz. I'm so excited to work out with you today. We are gonna be covering the calves as well as the quads today. The quadriceps are the fronts of your thighs. So let's go ahead and get started on this lower body workout. So as always with any workout, we're gonna start with a warm up. I want you to take your feet nice and wide. You're gonna sit side to side. Today's video is brought to you by Built. Before I found Built Bar, I was on an endless chase for easy, healthy, on the go protein bar snack. And I'm so glad that I found Built Bar because the texture is awesome. It tastes like an actual candy bar, but the taste is even better. It uses 100% real chocolate. They've got about 130 calories per bar, 17 grams of protein. And because they use the real chocolate, you don't get that weird taste afterwards. But because it is real chocolate, don't give these to your little furry friends. If you want to save 10% off your first purchase of Built Bars, check the link in the description box below. Lunging, lateral lunges. Sit your hips back, make sure your weight's in your heels. Keep your back nice and flat. Pull your abs in and up, good. Once you've done a couple side to side, we're gonna reach across. Level one, you're gonna reach for your knees. Level two, for your shins. And then eventually, one day, maybe you get a little bit more range of motion, you can get down to your toes. Good, sit your hips back. Pull those abs in and up. Beautiful. Make sure you're not rounding the shoulders forward here. You're pulling the shoulders down the back, away from your ears. Good. For today's workout, you don't need any equipment whatsoever, but if you want to get extra results, I'm going to be using dumbbells today. You can feel free to add twos, fives, eights, or maybe even tens if you're trying to get crazy. Or no weight at all. It's up to you. Give me four, three, two, and one. Take the toes out wide, spread the feet apart. We're going to drop it down for those sumo squat lifts. Good. So down you go and lift. Down and lift. Beautiful. Big inhale, big exhale. Big inhale, big exhale. Four, three, two, and one. Keep it down here to take your hands on your thighs. You're gonna drop the right shoulder down, look up. Big breath. And we'll switch to the other side. Big breath, inhale. And exhale, come center, round it all the way up. Take the toes forward, inhale, reach. And exhale, pull. Beautiful. We're gonna take it down for 20 squats, and then we should be nice and warm. Here we go. One, two, three. So you'll notice my feet are slightly wider than my hip distance apart. Good, my shoulders are back. Good, give me 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Because we're doing the calves today, I want you to do a couple ankle circles, rolling out the ankles, making sure that lower body is nice and warm and has synovial fluid is what goes into the joints to help keep them loose and relaxed so you don't hurt yourself. Good. Now I want you to take both feet together, both knees together, hands on your knees. We're gonna do five big circles one way and then other way, five, four, Three, two, and one. Good. From here, we're gonna take it to the side and do a quick little quad stretch here. So you can put your arm out here for balance if you need to. Otherwise, hands on your hip. Good, and then we'll do the other side. So knees are together, stretching out the quads here, lifting the chest, pulling the belly in. Beautiful. All right, let's jump into the workout, shall we? Okay, so continuing on with somewhat of a warm up here, we're gonna come to the top of the mat. We're gonna start with reverse lunge. So down you go and step up. Down and lift. Down you go and lift. Good. So your forward knee stays stacked over the heel, strong and balanced, full range of motion. The higher up you stay here, the easier it is. And the lower you go, the harder it gets, right? Good, so I really want you to push yourself. Starting here in the warm up. Beautiful. Side to side. Good. You got it. You can put your hands on your hips too if that feels better for you. Keep your torso vertical. Good, good. Lift the chest. Give me eight. Good. Seven. Yes. Six. You got it. Five. Last four. And then we're going to move on. And two, and one, beautiful. Okay, go ahead and pick up your weight if you have it. Otherwise, 
no worries. We're gonna come down into a sumo squat. I'm gonna rack the weights right here on my hip crease, okay? You take it down and lift, and down and lift. Good, you got it, nice and slow. Weights in your heels, press your knees back. Pull the belly in. And I like to keep my elbows here nice and narrow, so I'm pulling my shoulders down and together in the back. Good, so I'm not winging out here and letting my shoulders kind of collapse, right? I'm lifting the chest, pulling the abs in, elbows back and down. Good. Seven. You got it. Six. We're going to work today. Sculpting that lower body. It's going to feel really good, right? It's going to look really good. Two. Beautiful. And one. Hold this one down. We're going to lift the heels. Lift and lower. Then lift and lower. You got it? Lift and lower. Good. Four more super slow. So we lift. Make sure your feet are wide enough apart. Lift. Good. We're going to go double time here in a second. Last one slow. Give me singles. Here we go. Lift and lift and lift and lift. Drop your hips. Get those heels up. Use your calves. Do you feel your quads burning too? The tops of the thighs? Yeah. Lift. Lift. Good. Can you do eight more? Sure you can. Don't give up on yourself. Come on. Six. Five. Four. You're not tired. You're not tired. And one. Singles. Down and up. And lift. And lower. And lift. I don't know about you, but my legs are kind of shaking already, right? Woo. Yes. Four more slow. Really squeeze your glutes at the top. Two more. Last one. This time we hold it down one more time. Down. And lift. And lift. And lift. We're back to those heel lifts. Really squeezing those calves. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, single sumo squats. Here we go. Take it down and up and lift. Down and up and lift. That's the last time we're going to do that until we repeat. You got it? So four more here. Good. Squeeze those inner thighs. Yes. Last two. Beautiful. And one. Come on up. Take the feet outside the hips. We can set the weights back on down. And we're gonna repeat that, okay? So the reverse lunge, and we'll mix it in with those sumo squat cab raises. Top of the mat, here we go. Take it back and up. Back and up. Down and up. Good. Your legs should be nice and warm by now, right? They should be almost like burning a little bit. Good, and you're breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, you're almost there, come on. Don't give up on yourself, keep it going. Stay strong. It's only you and you. Come on. Eight, good. Seven, six, five. Almost there. Last four right here, come on. Two, hand through. Come on up, grab that weight. This is optional. Don't forget, you don't really need to use weights here. You can just use your own body weight. You take it nice and wide, drop it down, lift. A little bit faster this time. Yes, good. Pull those elbows in. Single sumo squats. And breathe. Inhale, exhale. Use your breath to help you. Use your breath to help you. Good, good. And then I want you to get your mind right, okay? because this isn't easy, but you're tough. All right, it's tough, you're tough. I need you to get mad about something. I need you to think about something, maybe it's stressing you out in your life right now. And we're gonna take it out right here, okay? This is your therapy. Here we go, drop it down. Pulse it, pulse, pulse. Good, do you feel your quads? Come on, here we go. Give me four, three, two, Back to singles, down and up, here we go. Lift, lower, good, yes, beautiful. You feel your inner thighs too, that's a little bonus. A little trainer tip, a little secret I saved for you. We're getting this tough stuff out of the way first, right? So eight, good, seven, yes, six. Relax that neck, relax your shoulders, keep that chest lifted. Come on, three, we're gonna hold it down, two, and add those heel raises. Here we go. Left, right. 
There it is. Yes. Good, good. You got it. Come on. Remember that thing you were going to get mad about? Now's the time to take it out. Like, boom. Ow. It's burning. It's burning. And I'm taking it out right here. Six, five, four, three, two. You made it. Singles. Down and up. Lift. Down and up. Good. Ooh, yes. Yes. You are alive. It is a gift. This is a gift. This is a blessing. This is easy for you. Come on. This feels so good to you. Right? Come on. Four, three, two. Hold it down. Singles. Lift those heels. 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 Yes. You got it. Come on. This feels good to you. Right? Come on. You're strong. Yes. Six, five, four, three, two. Singles. Here we go. Down and up. Lift. Seven. Almost there. This is your last little set of sumos. Come on. Stay with me. Three. Yes. Two. And through. Whew. Okay. Go ahead and set your weights down or keep them with you. It depends on your fitness level. We're going to take the feet right below the hips. Stand up nice and tall. I'm going to turn to the side for you. We're going to go into cab raises. Are you ready? So you lift your heels both together. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Up and down. Good. Now notice here, I want you to take a quick peek at my feet, okay? I'm not rounding out. I'm not letting my feet roll over, okay? They're going straight up and down. And my heels, if you're looking at me from the front, are hidden by my toes the entire time. Straight up and down. Good. Almost there. Yes, it doesn't feel like much. I promise you, you're gonna feel this tomorrow. Good. Two and one. A little faster. Lift, 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 lift. Almost like you're bouncing, right? We're only here for a short time. Good. Up and down. Seven, six, five, four. You feel your calves burning? Two and one. Good, shake that out for a second. Maybe do a couple ankle circles. Make sure you're still feeling it. So find your stance. We lift and lower. Lift and lower. Yes, beautiful. Get those heels up. Keep them in line with the toes. Gorgeous. Strong, straight legs. I need you to flex the fronts of your legs, right? Flex those quadriceps. Flex them. Good. Lift the kneecaps up. You got it. Give me four more. Four. Three. Two. And through. Little pulses. Here we go. Lift. Almost like you're bouncing in it, right? And I want you to feel like, okay, where's my center of balance? There's two points in the front of your feet, right? I need you equally balanced, distributed between. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Holy moly. Okay, cool. Nice work. We're going to stretch it out real quick in the middle here, just because that's the way we like to roll. You're going to take your foot back, flex your toes back towards your face, and pull this heel or pull these toes back toward your shin. Good, nice little hamstring slash calf stretch here. Take a big inhale here. And we'll exhale, release that foot and switch sides. Take this opposite leg, grab those toes. If you're struggling to grab those toes, you can use a chair here for balance or hand on your hip. And maybe just reach for the shin today. But if you can, get down there. Let's see if you can pull, pull those toes back toward your shin. Flat back, abs in, big inhale, and exhale, release. We're gonna take the hands on the floor, coming into a downward dog position, finding your downward dog. See if you can press your heels back and down. Then we're gonna pedal out the feet, shifting the hips, bending one knee at a time. So side to side, side to side, stretching out the backs of the legs, giving your quads and your calves a little bit of recovery. Good, side to side, beautiful, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and through. Press both heels back and down. Lengthen your arms from the center of the chest. Relax the head and neck between the arms. More weight into your knuckles, gripping the pads of the fingertips into the floor. Beautiful, step both feet center. Inhale, your right leg up, stacking the hips to open and bend that top knee. 
Good, nice little quad stretch here. Hip flexor stretch. Coming back to center, big inhale. And we'll exhale, set it down and switch. Inhale the opposite leg up, stacking the hips, opening up, bending that top leg. Nice hip flexor quad stretch here. Beautiful, hold it. Inhale, extend the leg back to center and exhale, set it down. Go ahead and lower the knees down to the mat and come on up. We're gonna walk over to a seated position. Say hello to your furry friends. Peanut, we're working here. We gotta work out. And we're gonna come into a supine or upward facing lying down position. Now you can use your weights here in this one as well. This is optional. If you are using weights, go ahead and set them in your hip crease right now. And we're gonna slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time until our back, shoulders, and neck, as well as the crown of the head are all supported. Bring the heels in close to the hips. We're gonna lift up, hold, and hold and hold and hold a bridge pose. Now, if you do have weights, you've gotta grip them here so that they don't roll down and hit you in the face. But if you don't have weights, you're gonna press your palms down flat on the ground, maybe even walking the shoulder blades down to lift the hips even more. Good, and from here, relax your neck. Keep your hips a little bit higher, one inch higher. We'll take it out and in, and out and in, and out and in. We're working a couple different muscle groups here. Lower body, all inclusive, out, and in, and out, and in. Beautiful. Singles. Out, in, out, in. Yes. Good. So outer thighs, glutes are working here, as well as those quadriceps, right? So press those heels down into the ground, root them down, and let the knees go out. Four, three, two, and one. Slow it down. So out, and in, and out, and in. Keep those hips lifted. Come on. You got it, give me four more here. Four, drive those heels down into the ground. That's how you activate your quads. Use the fronts of the thighs. Good, back to center. Slowly lower down for a hot second. Press your low back into the ground. Take a quick moment to shimmy out. Recover, find your second wind. Flatten your shoulder blades on the ground. Pull those heels in one more time. Even closer than you think you should. And get your hips back up. This time we lift the heels. Hold it, hold it. Hold it, I know it's tough for some of you to just hold it and do nothing, but that's what we're doing. We got those heels lifted. So we're working the quads, we're working the calves, all in one, and you don't even have to move a muscle, right? Just squeeze the muscle. Let's take it out and in. Out and in. This time the heels are lifted. Good, we won't be here for too long, so hang with me, okay? You got it. Stay strong. Beautiful. Almost there. Hang with me. Good. Eight, seven, little pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, set the heels down, lower the hips. Take a quick second to recover. We're gonna do one more set, one more set. And I know you can do it. Lift those hips, lift the heels. This time we're gonna keep the heels lifted. We're gonna lower the hips and lift, and lower and lift but keep those heels up sky high. Lower and lift. Working the booty, working the quads, working those calves. Let's go. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. I don't know about you, but my legs are getting a little shaky. Good, but I'm gonna stick it out. My form's still good. So I'm gonna breathe through it. Two and one. Give me eight fast singles. Here we go. Down and up. Seven, six. Keep those heels up. Four, three, two, and one. Drop the heels, lower the hips. If you add weight, set it off to the sides. Go ahead and pull the knees in toward the chest. Press the low back into the mat. Good, if this feels comfortable for you, draw out three big old circles with those knees going one way, and then we'll do three big old circles going the other way. Good, keep the knees and ankles together. Beautiful, coming back to center. For some of you, I'm gonna have you wrap your arms around, okay? 
if that's not happening, you can just go ahead and hold on to the fronts of your shins. But I want you to try to wrap yourself in a tiny little ball. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Squeeze your ankles together. Lift the shoulders up off the ground. Press the low back into the floor and see if you can get your forehead to touch your knees. Good. Hold it. Squeeze everything in. Pelvic wall squeezing in and up. Abs squeezing in. Big inhale. And exhale. Release. Go ahead and extend your arms out, your legs out. If you want, you can take the arms up overhead here. Beautiful stretch. Big inhale here. Wiggle the fingers, press through the toes. And as you exhale, you can either roll over to your side and press your way up to a seated position or big exhale to lift up and reach up. I had a couple of guest visitors. Okay, so once you're back up into your seated position, go ahead and come on up to the balls of the feet. We're gonna press the hands in front of us down into the ground and press your heels down, stretching out the Achilles tendon, which is the back of the heel. Good. Really just resting into this, stretching out those calves. Beautiful, and then we're gonna come back up to our downward dog position, sending those hips up, sending the heels back. We're gonna cross the right ankle over the left and press back into that left hip. If you're really tight here, especially in the ankles and um, the heels, then you may not, your heel may be up here and that's okay. You're gonna be working to open that up, increase your mobility in your ankle throughout this entire program. Good, go ahead and set that down and switch sides. Take that opposite ankle behind. Press those heels back and then down. And don't worry, it's more important here if your heel's lifted for you to have a straight leg and to really press back into the hips to really help open up the back of that leg than it is for you to maybe bend your knees and cheat a little bit to get your heel down. So let's, let's do it the right way. We'll get there eventually. Good, coming back to center, pressing both heels back and down. Good, take a big inhale here. And exhale, let it out. We'll do that two more times. Big inhale through the nose. And exhale at the mouth. One more time, big inhale. Filling up the lungs with air. And exhale. Good, we're gonna walk, tippy toe the feet up. Inhale to lift, hands to the shins. Exhale to forward fold. Strong straight legs here. We're gonna bend both legs and slowly roll up. We'll get one final quad stretch and you'll be good to go, my friend. All right, so shift your weight into your left leg. We're gonna pull this right leg back. Bonus challenge here. You can stay with this squat stretch or we can take it into dancer's pose. You're gonna take your palm out, thumb up, grab the inside of your back ankle. Inhale to lift this left arm up and exhale to kick this back leg back as you fold forward. Keeping one spot in your sight, focusing on your balance. Kick the back leg, point the back toe. And just like how you went in, inhale slowly to come on out. Good, so that's optional. Just something to progress as you continue to practice this specific workout. So again, you're here with this quad stretch or you're gonna take this palm out, thumb up behind you. Grab the inside of that back ankle. Inhale to lift this arm up or stay with your quad stretch. And then the only thing that changes is kicking that back leg all the way. Your chest is lifted just like in your, your upward dog position. Good. Kick, kick, kick. Nice and slow, come on out. <sighs> Beautiful. We're gonna press both feet together both knees together, coming down, lining up our fingertips with the fronts of our shoes, and we're gonna come down into a yogi squat, okay? This is also quite a challenge, especially the first time that you do it. But you're working again on pressing those heels back and down together, squeezing the ankles together, squeezing the knees together, pulling the inner thighs together, pulling the pelvic wall in and up, pulling the low belly in, and then from here, squeezing your arms to give yourself a big hug. Go ahead and round your forehead down towards your knees. Big inhale. And exhale, send the hips all the way up. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale to forward fold. 
and then we'll inhale, reverse swan dive arms, go all the way out and up, palms to touch, and exhale your hands to your heart. Thank you so much for joining me for today's quad and calf workout. Now, stick around if you want some bonus tips for if your calves become super sore. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you a couple of self-massage techniques using common household items at the end of this video. Otherwise, amazing work today. I'm so proud of you and I'm so glad that you stuck around for the whole workout. See you later. Okay, so we're gonna have a seat on our mat today and I'm gonna use three items. There's a ball, I have a lacrosse ball, which is pretty intense, but if you have a tennis ball or some other round ball uh, in your house, you can use that for today. If you don't have a ball, you can also use a water bottle. And then the third and final object is a foam roller, okay? So foam rollers are relatively inexpensive. You can get them um, either on Amazon or at your local sports department store. So I'm gonna show you using the most common thing first. Just make sure with the bottle, it's not glass and it's not gonna break because we are gonna be putting a significant amount of weight on this bottle. So if you want to, you can also wrap this in a towel to make it a little bit softer, more like a makeshift foam roller. So for the calf specifically, we're gonna prep, put this water bottle underneath that one calf and we're gonna lift the hips and then slowly roll back and slowly roll forward. And now there's two ways that you can roll on this bottle. You can go up and down just like this, or you can go side to side. So shifting your weight like a teeter totter or like windshield wiper side to side. Those are the two techniques that you really need to know when it comes to self massage and foam rolling. And now I typically like to start from the extremities or starting from the farthest way point away from the midline, which for me would be the ankle and then roll up towards the center of the body, okay? So towards the knee. So then I'll start over, I'll roll down fast and then roll up slow. For some of you who are super, super uh, limber, I guess you could say, you might not feel this as much. Part of the reason why is because the calves are the densest muscle in the body. So if you need a little bit of extra weight, you can actually crisscross the opposite leg on top and then I guarantee you're gonna feel it, okay? That's actually even too much for me. So I'm gonna drop my hips and just kind of use that leverage, that extra weight to kind of get in there. So those are just a couple of tips. And then if you find a sore spot, let's go ahead and switch to the other side. If you find a sore spot that's particularly tight, first of all, don't worry. That's totally normal. That just means that you need to spend a little bit of extra time giving that little spot some love. So if you find a sore spot or somewhere that's really tight, like I have one right here, you're gonna just hold that or maybe even add that extra weight and just hold it for 20 seconds so that that muscle has time to really release and relax. And you'll notice that it, this is really just whatever feels good to you. So for me, when I have this extra leg on, I like to keep the hips down. It's a little less intense. Good. And then again, you're rolling up and down the length of the muscle as well as side to side and doing whatever feels good here. Oh, isn't that so wonderful? It's so nice to take care of your body. It's so nice. It feels so much better when you're out in the world, just sitting at a desk or walking around, doing your grocery shopping, if you've taken care of your body, you know what I mean? Good, I'm gonna roll out side to side. Beautiful. Now, that's how you take care of the calves. Listen, you can do the exact same thing with a foam roller. The cool part about a foam roller is it's a little bit bigger. So, with a foam roller, you can do both calves at once. You can put both legs up, almost like you're getting into your little roller coaster seat here. And still, I'm gonna scoot my hips back so I can start up, down at those ankles, lift the hips up, really relax the leg, and then let my body roll towards it. Oh, it feels so good. It's like a free massage, you guys, free massage. Beautiful. My assistants are back. Good, so same thing with a foam roller. You can cross one leg over the other and roll here, or go side to side, or switch and do the other side. So you have options here, but you don't necessarily need a foam roller if you have a steel or a really firm plastic water bottle that you can even wrap up in a towel. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to use a ball. So you can use a tennis ball or I have a lacrosse ball here. And all you're gonna do is find those tight spots and just sit back and relax and let the ball do all the work for you. So having it under your leg here the, with the weight and the pressure going down into it is gonna help your leg really relax and get rid of some of that tightness. Now if you're already super sore, this isn't gonna be totally pleasant, okay? But it is going to help to release the metabolic waste that was created in the actual strength training workouts and to get rid of some of that lactic acid and all that other stuff that's still kind of lingering in there creating that soreness for you. So I know it's not always pleasant, but just know 
that with techniques like this, you can make a huge difference in your recovery time and how you generally feel the next day and the next day. So last little thing, if you don't have any of these pieces of equipment or common household items, then guess what? You got two thumbs and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use them. All right, so say you don't have any of these three things, I'm gonna give you a little bonus tip. This is a technique I learned when I was working at a physical therapy um, clinic back in Los Angeles. You're gonna take one thumb and press it over the other thumb, okay? And then you're gonna take it into the back of your calf here, using your fingertips, like you're playing a flute or something, to grab the front of the shin and then thumb over thumb. You're gonna, again, find those tight spots, pull that heel in nice and close, and kind of just wiggle it out and or hold for 20 to 30 seconds on each individual tight spot. Now, that's for that pressure point release that is so juicy and delicious and feels so good, especially um, if you're not sore. But if you are super sore, another thing that you can do is to use the heel of the hand and press into those calves. The last bonus bonus tip I have for you is to stay ultra hydrated and maybe even consider using a post-workout recovery drink of sorts. If you're curious what I recommend or what ones I specifically use, shoot me a quick message, I'm happy to chat with you. P.S. That heel of the hand technique also works really, really well on your quadriceps if your quads are also sore, and you can do that while you're sitting at your office, computer, or while you're sitting watching your favorite TV show, or whatever it is, to, to really get in there and break up some of that, again, metabolic waste that is stored in there, which is why you're super sore. Okay, so I hope that helps you today. That's all I have for you. I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait to hear from you soon. Bye.